Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela. Here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, in particular for the woman over 40. Now, as your resident fashion style influencer, I have been doing a lot of internet window shopping, and I've been looking for some sophisticated, elevated, and polished pieces that kind of give off a rich auntie vibe. Now, I have eight complete looks. If you'd like to see those looks, then stay tuned now. Let's get started. Before I get started, let me just say, most of the pieces are not budget friendly, but they're not really expensive either. Most of them are not. You're paying for quality tailoring and quality pieces, structure, and pieces that are gonna last a long, long time in your wardrobe and are definitely worth the purchase. So let's start with look number one. I have been eyeing this set probably for six months and I love it. There's just something about that stripe up the side of the pants. It gives it a tuxedo type look. It just looks so chic and so elevated. I love the fact that it has a matching shirt. Now I don't like the way they style the model in the set. It just looks like they just threw it on. I would definitely tuck the shirt in, probably put a belt on, just something plain so it doesn't take away from the outfit. Pair it with some heels and a pair of small earrings. Now I've also found a beautiful black smooth leather purse to go with this look. I think it's just a beautiful accessory that's going to look great with the look. And the way I would personally style it, I would wear some black just nondescript sneakers as well. So I found these Giuseppe sneakers. I think they're beautiful. And if I weren't feeling like the sneakers for that day, I just put on some black heels. I have plenty of black heels. But for me, I would style this with the sneakers and give it a very feminine masculine type of look. So look number two is this beautiful asymmetrical hemline sheath dress. It's a fit in the flare. I know it a fit in the it's a fit and flare. <laughs> I know it looks like a black dress, but it's really a dark, dark green dress. I think this dress is perfect for the corporate baddie. Actually, this dress is, would be perfect to wear at church as well. It is stunning to me. I love, love, love the silhouette and the tailoring of this. Now to pair with this dress, I don't want to take away from dress, but I want to add a little color to brighten it a little bit. So I found a beautiful clutch. Um, it's in a cream off-white type of color and a pair of shoes that's similar to the color of the purse. I think this combination of this dark, dark forest green and this creamy taupe ecru type color look very, very well and put together. For look number three, we have the exact same dress, but in this gorgeous, when I say gorgeous, cobalt blue, I would definitely wear this color. As you can see, the difference between the dark green and the blue, the blue is so much brighter, but it's the exact same dress. You can really see the structure of the dress. I think it's gorgeous. Now, because kitten heels are in, I found a pair of kitten heel, and I think the color they're calling is birch wood or birch sand. It's a very, very light color as well. I think it would look great with this cobalt blue. If you didn't want to do a lighter shoe, you could also do a neutral shoe. But to complete the look, I found this stunning. This purse is stunning. I love this branch handle on this purse. I, I love this a lot. And they pair very well with the dress and with the shoes to complete the look. I, I want this purse, okay? I want this purse. Whew, she's $658. I may have to, <laughs> I may have to pass. But that doesn't mean I still don't want it. I want this and that completes the look. For look number four, we have another pair of pants with a wide stripe down the side. I told you I love this look. And I love the way these pants are just all the way down to the floor, just barely, barely off the floor. I think it makes your legs look so much longer. And you know, for us shorties, you know, I'm five, three and a half. I know I look tall. <laughs> Uh, but we're, I'm short, but I love for my pants to hang like this. And I do have a pair of pants that are similar to this, but not this quality, to be honest. Um, to finish the look, I like the way they styled the, the model, but the, just the V-neck line, I felt like I needed something a little, uh, that added a little edge to it. So I found this beautiful sweetheart neckline tank top um, knit shirt for this look. I think it really looked great together. And a black tote is a smooth leather. I love the shape of the tote. Totes are in. They're trending really hard right now. And I think this would definitely complete the look. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, rich auntie ensemble. 
Oops, I forgot. I did find a pair of really cute gold earrings or gold brass plated gold looking earrings that would look great with this look. And they are from Shopcore, of course. These earrings are from Shopcore, cause I, of course. I think they have them. Um, they do have these in a larger size and they came in silver. If they're still available, I will leave them in the description box. But I think these pair of earrings, they're smaller, but they have a lot of character. Would look great with that look. The next look is a dress that I think I have like three versions of it, but I don't have a solid white, but white is trending. It's trending right now. It's gonna trend all summer long, probably early fall as well. This dress is beautiful. It's so, not dainty, so feminine. I love the puff sleeve detail and it's a midi dress. It looks like it's a linen blend. It's beautiful. Now to go with that, I have chosen these shoes. As soon as I saw the shoes, I was like, oh, those are so pretty. Now they come in black, a coconut cream, which is an off-white uh, peony. I say peony, my husband says peony. He told me I'm saying it wrong. Um, and, I, and black, white, and, oh, yeah, and a, like a purple looking color. But I thought those shoes were just stunning. They were so, so feminine. I love the little bow detail on the back. I think it's beautiful. So I chose the black pair, of course. Y'all know black is my favorite color, but it would look great with any of the colors. To complete the look, I thought because you have the linen, it's warm outside. So I found a black raffia clutch and I think it would definitely complete the look and this would be a perfect outfit to wear out, out to lunch or to dinner during spring and summer just if you're just hanging out if you're going to be doing a lot of walking you could do some flats instead of the heels but this is a beautiful dress and it would look fantastic with the two additional pieces so the next look is a white embroidered dress. You all love the one that I had on the last videos. I was able to find another one and this is beautiful. It's from Cezanne, which means the quality is going to be outstanding. I have yet to purchase anything from Cezanne that was not top tier and definitely worth the money. So I found this one. I think it's beautiful to go with that dress, that spring summer feel. I found a tote, which are definitely trending, but it's in a natural straw raffia tote and the color is in a neutral natural color as well with leather straps. I think it would look beautiful with the dress. And to complete the look, I found some strappy sandals with the same color leather that's on the tote. I think this is a beautiful, this is something I would wear like on a boat party. If I were going out to a boat party or just going out to lunch, I could see myself having this on if I were in Italy walking around and just don't forget, I'm going to Italy. I will leave the link to that as well if you'd like to go in the description box. But that is the last piece for that look. Next, we have look number seven. And when I say this is definitely giving rich auntie resort, I'm going to have on my large eye eyeglasses. I'm going to be walking and my, my dress is just going to be flowing behind me in the wind. She's just going to be doing like this as I walk. And I'm just going to have my chin up like this. <laughs> And I'm just gonna keep going. This is what, this is the vibe that this dress is giving. This is me all day. This black and white one shoulder number, it is gorgeous. I love the print, it's um, African inspired and it is, uh, it is created by a black designer as I, obviously I, I knew that as soon as I saw it, but it is stunning to go with this look. I added the black raffia clutch that you've seen in the previous look. We don't want to take away from this dress. We don't want to take away from this dress at all. We want it to just be seen. It is the showstopper. It is the piece that we want to get all of the attention. To complete the look, I chose the same sandals from the last look, but in black. So the dress is the star of the show. The clutch and the shoes just accentuate the entire look. I love this. Uh, this is a perfect vacation look for me. And the final look is a perfect blend of feminine and masculine. This is something I love, love to wear and I love to pull off. And sometimes it may be a little challenging to pull off, but this look does it very well. So the pants are in a natural color. They're a linen, linen blend and they're gorgeous and it has a waist coat that goes with it. I think it's stunning. Now they do, they are two separate pieces, so you pay for them separately. The blazer, unfortunately, is sold out, but I love this waist coat and these pants. I think they're beautiful. To complete the look, I found this bag from Pauline. Now I've been looking at this bag for quite some time. One of the colors, I didn't know which one I wanted, but I think I'm gonna end up ordering one. I'm gonna make myself not get the black one. <laughs> Not get the black one though. I think this purse and camel would really, really accentuate this look and I think it would look fantastic. 
To complete the look, I found some beautiful earrings, again from Shop Koi. Y'all know I love me some Shop Koi. And these earrings are the Kayla earrings. They're small. I feel with the rich auntie vibe, you don't need a lot of accessories. They just need to be small and dainty for the most part. Now that black and white dress could have, we could have stacked the arm with some bracelets and it would have been quite all right. But this final look, these Kayla earrings will complete the look and I think they are beautiful. And that is the end. Well, that's it, family. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, I will leave links to all the pieces in the description box and in the very first pinned comment. And periodically, most of the pieces or some of the pieces and some additional pieces will be on my Like It To Know It page. If you'd like to know how to do that, there's a link in the description box. It says Angela Michelle's Like It To Know It page. Click on that. You actually have to download the app, whether it's on your phone or on your desktop, and all of the pieces stay there. So you can just shop the sites as, as you will, as you have time to. Now, thank you so much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. I want you to have the most blessed, blessed, and beautiful day. Bye-bye.